Hey guys, it's Wolf Maiden, and today we're going to be making boot bandanas. I have a couple different projects that I'm gonna be doing to work up to bigger ones, but today we're just gonna make some boot bandanas, a simple little either a no-sew project if you have fabric that doesn't fray, or a really simple sewing project where you just sew the edges down. So I have this button up that doesn't really fit, and I thought this fabric would be an excellent color for some projects. And so I always kept it and I like it, but I just can't bring myself to give it away. So I was thinking that I could make a couple things with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you guys wanna make this as well, make sure you've got a little bit of fabric. You probably don't even need like, but a quarter of a yard of fabric to make these. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is Put your boot on and then you're going to want to measure it with a measuring tape around the top where you want to be tying your boot bandana so it should be going over the top part here the reason why you want to measure this is because you want to see how long you have to make your boot bandana everybody's measurements are different mine was 11 inches around with my boot on that's including the boots thickness because it didn't tighten all the way around my ankle there. And the next part is really important. So what you're going to do is take your measurement and then add at least five inches, but ideally, ideally six to eight inches. So you have a lot of space for you to be able to tie the ends of the bandana into a knot. And the other materials you're going to need besides the fabric are a tape measure, scissors, a sewing needle and thread, or a sewing machine and thread, fabric chalk, which is optional, and tracing paper, which is optional. You can also optionally use a protractor. I did not, but it probably would have made things better if I did. <laughs> so I went ahead and made my triangle, the length of which should be your measurements plus the six or eight inches. And then however much you angle it is going to be how long the bandana will hang in the back. Additionally, the bottom part there has a little extra length because I plan to hem it once I get the proper thread for it. So however you made your pattern, or if you're just measuring it all out on your fabric, go ahead and do that and outline it. I'm just doing fabric chalk, and I was trying to make sure that I had enough space to even make these bandanas, so luckily I did. And then you just cut out your triangle. Then you're going to want to hem the edges however you like. If your fabric doesn't fray, you don't need to do this. If it does, you might want to do this if you're worried about it fraying. I decided that I was going to keep it the way that it was because how it naturally looks, it kind of looks a little bit rustic and I, and I like it a lot more than if I were to sew each of the edges down. But if you want more longevity, and you don't have non-fraying fabric, then I would totally hem the edges. And this is all you have to do to put them on. You just fold them however you like at the top if you want them folded down or not. And then you tie them around your boot. I recommend two knots. I just didn't do that there because it didn't matter too much. And yeah, you've got a cute little boot bandana that you can style a couple different ways. If you fold the top up and lessen the length of the bandana, it also gives it a cuter look. If you don't like fr the frayed look at the top, you can just sort of tuck it in, or you could tuck in the back. And instead of having that triangle look, it is just rectangular. And I think that's a cute way to wear it too. I think it'd look a little bit different or a lot different on boots that are taller as well. And will add a little bit of color to whatever you're wearing. And it's a cheap, easy accessory to make. So tell me what you guys think. And that's how you make the boot bandana. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.